Dzień dobry, mam na imię Charlie Trafford. Watch this video. So Charlie, hello. First I'm gonna Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. First I'm gonna ask you about your Polish connection. So how 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 did it happen that you have a Polish passport? Um, my mother's side of the family is all Polish, so coming here, uh, my grandfather, um, he still lives here, Talnowski, so um, from that side of the family I had my Polish passport and I got it since I was quite young. Um, and then, yeah, of course I've been over quite a few times and everything, so, um, yeah, my mom's side's Polish, but she grew up in Can most of her life in Canada or around and maybe a little bit away from her dad, so, and her mom was not Polish, so she didn't speak Polish growing up, so then, so then obviously I never learned Polish, so now I'm trying trying to start with that. All right, that's, that was my second question. So we are actually trying to, to learn Polish. Do you know any words in Polish? <laughs> I'm getting into Polish classes right away actually, so I'm trying to, I'm going to try and pick up the language as fast as I can. But of course the first word you always learn, the one that starts with K and ends with A, like kielbasa. Um, but, but yeah, you know, of course, as soon as you get here, you, a lot of the boys, they on the field, everything, it's all in Polish. So you have to try to pick stuff up as fast as you can and everybody just speaks Polish to you. So you're kind of just thrown into the deep end and you have to, to grab on as much as you can. So I'm doing my best to, to speak as much as you can. You know, I don't mind, I like speaking and socializing. So I'm going to try to talk with the boys as much as I can and, and learn the language quick. That's great. I heard uh, your sister is playing in the national rugby team for Canada, so I guess you have a sporty family. Yeah, we have quite an athletic family. She's probably a better athlete than I am, to be honest. So, but she's not quite in the she's not quite in the national team yet. But she's in the under twenty program. She's on the she's listed into the under twenty under twenty group. So, um, yeah, hope me and her have always been competing. Who would get into the national team first? So this was it was a big one for me to beat her on that because because she's pretty talented. So. It's a good one for me there. How do you like Poland? How do you like Kielce? <clears throat> um, like I said, I've been over to Poland quite a few times, so I love it, but um, my it's my first time in Kielce, and, and I love it here too. Everything, the people have been like brilliant to me, have been very nice, and they're in their best to help me out. Um, even if they don't speak English, or if they speak little English, everybody's everybody's been pretty good, so I like that, and it's, small, it's a fairly small city, so, but but it has everything I need and it's somewhere where I can come and just focus on focus on football and, and develop as much as I can and then there's not too many distractions so I can do a bit of school on the side as well. Right, so let's start talking about soccer. So how do you feel about Corona when you came here? What about the club and which player give you the best first impression? It's it's very good. It's it's definitely faster and more physical. That's kind of the Polish game, I guess, in the league. It's quite physical and fast. So. Um, I think that's good for me. I got to come in here and kind of add that side to my game because I'm I'm quite a technical player and tactical player. So um, this adding, I don't mind fighting and I like to do that. But so this will be good for me to keep to develop that side of my game even more. Um, and everything's good. The coach um, again, I came in right away and he has a great relationship with the players. He creates a very good atmosphere here and and everything. So from the first day of training, it was great and. And of course, coming in as a central midfielder, I, I try to look at the other guys in my position more than anyone else. But so Jovanovic, very good player, everything. But um, on top of that, again, all the players who, who speak English or French, like Nabil and the Spanish boy and everything. It's, but it's a great group, a good atmosphere in there, everything. So I'm excited. Right. So let's start about your career. It started in Canada. Can you tell us about that a bit? Uh, I grew up playing for an amateur club, Foothills, which is one of the top clubs in, in Canada, especially for amateur level. Um, and from there, I, I moved into the, when I signed my first into a professional club, I went with the Vancouver Whitecaps, who are now a MLS team, playing the US. Um, after that, I, I, did, I was, I'm such a late developer. I'm, I grew almost 30 centimeters when I was 18. So before that, I was so small. And so I was always kind of looked past and getting into teams and stuff. And everyone said I was, no chance I was going to be professional footballer, everything. So I decided to go to university and I went to school for a year and a half. And in that year and a half, I grew and I grew up a little bit. And then I, I decided I, I think I can give it another chance. And from there, I signed directly in Holland uh, with the Grashup. And I spent a year there 
um, which was amazing for me. It's perfect. Uh, you know, the development style of of like the atmosphere there is incredible. They develop players technically, everything. So it was perfect for me. But then after that, I really needed to to just be playing games every week, and and so I could develop like that. And I had a, my cousin was playing in Finland at the time, and so he he set up a move for me. Sorry, I'm I'm reading your questions yeah. ahead. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking which question I'm gonna ask now. But yeah, my cousin set me up a move to Finland, so I spent the last two years there, and it was it was perfect for me. You know, I got to play play tons of games, um, try to be a key player in the team, and and it was just it was really good there for me. And and then from there, now I'm making a step up, and this is a, a very big step for me. And I'm I'm again I'm just excited to get started here. Tell me about the national team. Did they actually rang you up 1 p.m. at night? Yeah, it was crazy. The they phone. I was just getting into bed and I got and I got the phone calls one or two o'clock in the morning and um, yeah I guess you, your heart is just racing after that there's no chance I was sleeping after that so I stayed up the rest of the night packed my bags and I got on a flight to um, to Orlando in the morning and um, I guess I, I'm not complaining I, I don't they can call me anytime I guess you know it was really a, a big step in my career and everything and of course it's always nice to represent your country and everything so that was an um, incredible experience and hopefully many more of those to come yeah how did you actually get to Poland to and you picked Corona because I heard you had a uh, different options like you have the the proposition from Finland and, and Sweden and two from Poland why did why, why Corona why Poland um, well of course my agent here was Sportima with Erin Ordovic um, so he set this up for me he gave set me up with a few options here but um, I guess just the atmosphere at this club, I knew it's somewhere I think I can come and play and make an impact in the team and like I said about the coach Juan Bro, she's, I just, I like the way, I like his style, I like the way he does things, you know, his passion in it, I see he just, he watches so much video, he analyzes the game, he, his, the way he creates atmosphere with the group, they just, like he's serious but at the same time he, he has good interaction with the players and stuff so I just thought, again, I need a, somewhere where I can get trust from the coach, and I can, I can have a coach who's gonna kind of believe in me and push me. So um, that kind of felt like the right move. And uh, yeah, of course, coming out of it's nice to leave Scandinavia just because of the scheduling is on the opposite. It's nice to get into the European schedule and in a central European spot with that's open to all the markets and everything. So it just felt like the right move. And then of course I have to thank the president and the managing director and everyone at the club for for setting it up and, and the staff for how they've treated me since I've got here. Right, and I heard you had two dreams. One, to be in the national team, which came true, and the second was to play in Old Trafford. And I want to ask you about that. Do you still believe that dream can come true? Um, of course, that's one that I keep I keep buried down, but but um, that's, my cl that's a club I support since I was four years old, so... Um, of course, you have to always believe in this. It's a crazy, it's a crazy job, and and things can happen very fast. So, um, it's still a dream inside. Again, it's it's it, I think it's quite a ways down the future. I've got a lot of work to do. So, for now, I'm just going to keep my head down and and work as hard as I can and develop as a player. And like I said, I'm going to fight here to help the team win, and and hopefully, I can get lots of minutes and make a good impact here. And then, and then you never know what happens. Right, so that would be it. Is it anything else you want to say to the Kelsa fan? Um, I've gotten a lot of messages from the fans and support, so I just obviously I want to say uh, thank you, Jinkui Barzo. But um, at the yeah, again, I'm just like I said, I'm gonna fight for the club. I'm I'm wearing the red colors now and and everything, so I'm just excited. I'm very excited to get started and everything, and um, I hope nobody's shy if they approach me in the city, come and speak to me anytime and. I'm very, I'm, it will help my help me learn Polish and and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to get started in front of them, and hopefully they can create a good atmosphere. I can score a few goals here for them. And the last personal question for me: Why number four? Um, again, joining the team halfway through the year is you don't get that many choices of number, you know. So my number was gone, and then um, I only had the choice of a few numbers. And of course, as a, a central midfielder, four is quite a good number. You, You've seen some some big players wear four, so hopefully I can I can represent the number well and get forward. Right, and uh, what was your if you have if you have a, like uh, options? What was your pick and why? 
Um, if you mind me asking, of course. Yeah, again, the last team I joined, I joined in the middle of the season as well, so I didn't have much choice there, and I, I started wearing number 19. And so I've kind of taken that number on, you know, it's not as popular of a number, so it's a number you can kind of develop as your own. And obviously one plus nine equals 10, so that's the real number I want to be wearing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I think like every kid wants to wear a 10. Exactly. Yeah. Growing up, that's no one dreams of wearing number three. So, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can represent the number. I'm not. It's more about the, the the sign on the front here, the club, than the number for me on the back. So, this is what's important for me, and hopefully I can represent the club more than the number. That was a pleasure. Thank you very much, and good luck in your career. Thank you very much.